guys, this is Kyle Keller. I'm with today's equine, and today we are in my indoor arena. It's the beginning of March, so here in Indiana, it's still very muddy, still very wet. So my horses are still a mess. Uh, they are treated like real horses, so they still have their long coats. They still have their mud on them. Today, what we'll be going over is a little bit of round pinning action and we're going to be moving into my seven principles and one of the ones that we're going to be focusing on today is the group bonding. I think it's really important for horses to have group bonding experiences as well as for the humans to interact in that group bonding as well. So after I do a short round of round pinning, excuse the horse, <laughs> we'll be going into the grooming session of the group bonding. It's pretty typical that the horses break off into little groups for this part. A lot of times it's the pairs that get along better, so maybe a couple of mares, um, a couple of the geldings that play together. Today we have a wide range. I have everything from a Shetland pony um, to paint to quarter horses to thoroughbred. <laughs> so we've got the wide gamut today. As you can see, I brought out the board and they are examining it and checking it out. Um, let me move some horses off here. Um, as we're going around, you can see some of the other things. The principles are that they are a herd animal, that they do have a pecking order. So in here I do have the uh, alpha, as, as well as I'll be playing alpha. All the way down to uh, the pony is probably going to be the last on the pecking order. Um, body language, you'll be able to watch that as I'm interacting with the horses, as well as you'll be able to watch the horses' body language as we're going around. They are prey animals, so you're going to see their flight and, uh, fight or flight instinct. Correction, not punishment, is what you'll see me doing, and hopefully observing my horses doing as well. Uh, the group bonding, again, is what we're focusing on today. And the last one is the brain. <laughs> And so we will do videos over all of these at some point. Um, being March and the beginning of the season, I thought this one would be a great one to allow some grooming um, of the horses and to allow this video to happen. Thanks for watching.
palm. You'll notice that he has blue eyes and we'll see that your palm is in. And this is Pinch coming up for her group grooming. She did so nicely and quietly, so I'm going to respect it and groom her. Okay. this gray white horse right here he can get to be a little needy and a little pushy he can sometimes get to running the other horses off so if he does not let me share I'm going to have to take her and work her and show her no the other horses get Now we're able to be in these close quarters, these boundaries, both of these mares get along. the pony and the big guy. So as you see, I'm not done with the loads and loads of grooming that I have to do here. However, it does give you a glimpse into the world of how I like to bring my horses in together as a group and for us to have group time together. I try not to let anybody hog me. I try to devote my time to each one to show them that they're special. They all have a little bit different personality, so some of them might have been shown a little bit more than others. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you can go out and enjoy time with your horses, not just one-on-one, -on -one, and not just working, but in a grooming situation and a herd as well. Even if you don't have a large group of horses that you own, you can go out to your boarding stable and join the herd that your horse, one horse, belongs to. The other horses will enjoy getting groomed as well. Thanks for watching.